All right, so we've moved locations, not places, just locations here from one side of Mid-South Lumber to another side of Mid-South Lumber. This place is so big and got so much stuff, ain't you all got to come down and see it. I'm still with my buddy Kenton Plager from James Hardy Siding. He is the siding installation specialist. My buddy Kurt's here. He's so kind to let us in on a Saturday afternoon to film. But one of the things I want to talk with you about today, and Kenton, you and I are going to talk about this, when we look for products and we look for those things that, we're, that we want to get a complete system, and that's what we're going to go through today. We're going to talk about how James Hardy has come out with a complete system. All those components are available here from our friends at Mid-South Lumber. So when you come here, they know. You're not dealing with somebody that doesn't know. They know, look, you got to have trim, you got to have fasteners, you got to have caulk, you got to have clips, you got to have all those kinds of things because it's the same difference as taking a 50-year metal roof and putting a five-year fastener holding it down. We don't want to do that, and there's things that you need to know. So Kenton's going to walk through me, walk with me through it, and we're going to help you guys to know. So hang on, it's going to be interesting. So Kenton, where are we going to start at right here? First of all, we got how many colors now? Uh, we got 28 colors. 28 colors, okay. And those are called Color Fast. Color, color Plus. Color Plus. Color you know, plus. I, one of the things I do is I rename products every chance I get. <laughs> you might be, I don't know what I'll end up calling you, but we've known each other a long time. <laughs> so we're not going to say that. So you've got 28 colors. And when we talk about coastal colors, you know, especially being here uh, on the coast, you guys have got all those. Now, this is a finished product when it comes out. This is a finished product. That's right. And then we talked in, a little earlier in one of the installations. If you've got a, a nice blue like this right here, and, you know, we, we don't want to be damaging the outside of that. So there are some things that you talk to us about an installation that's going to help us with that. We're going to go over that again here in just a little bit. Of course, you guys have made primed fiber board for a long time. Cement board, I should say. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so, so this is basically our prime board. Okay. Uh, we've been making it for many years. And, um, you know, the things that have changed is now this is we zone this for, uh, for the country. So this is actually the HZ10 zone. Okay. And then once you get above Tennessee, it's the HZ5. So th this is all HZ10. You should see yellow primer down here in the south. Okay, now tell me that again. Now, if we're in HZ10, what does that mean to, to the listening audience, or right. the watching, viewing audience? So there? basically what we did is we took the, the country and divided it in two halves. Okay, right? north and south. Okay, north I got south. that. <laughs> <laughs> Almost the Mason-Dixon line. So, yeah, okay. So what we have is up north, that's considered the HZ5 zone. Right, where right. you have storms and, and, storms, and, and snow, freezing, snow, snow dams and all that kind of stuff. Yep, and, okay, yep. gotcha. And then down here, because the the high heat, high humidity, we have HZ10 in the south. Okay, so it deals with the climate as it is, as it is That's here. That's right, the, the high sun, high UV, um, the, humi the humidity, right. everything. All right, so yeah. two different products. So still the product that they started with, but only improved and better. Yeah. On the line. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now, how many? How long warranty does this have? So this is a thirty-year warranty. Thirty-year warranty. This. Okay. Non-prorated, twice the retail value. Okay. Right. So, so uh, previously the warranty was fifty years. It would hit two years and then prorate down. Okay. Right. So now, it's thirty years all the way across, twice the retail value, one hundred percent. That's a good. That's a good warranty. That's, it a, is. It's a, great that's a real good warranty. Now, is that warranty transferable? That warranty is transferable. All right, and that's something that we always look for, folks. If it's not transferable, it's not much good to you or to the next homeowner. That means they're standing behind their product and they believe in what they're doing. Transferable. What about termites? They like this stuff. Termites hate this stuff. They don't. They don't even get close to it. No, so we don't have to worry about. It. But what about like you know hail and sleet and wind and rain and hurricanes and stuff like that? This, uh, as long as it's installed properly. Um, the, uh, this does actually cover uh, hail, so does part of the really? warranty covers hail damage. So if you have hail damage, that is a warranty. What about teenagers and baseball bats? Teenagers and baseball <laughs> bats. Uh, There's not no covered yeah. under the warranty? Okay. You can try. <laughs> we can <laughs> try. Well, <laughs> well I, she just went crazy. I don't know. But anyway, so we got that going on now. Tell me a little bit more about what we got as we move along. All right. So, so what we have uh, is now we have a pre-finished product called Color Plus. Okay. It's finished actually in the plant. In our plant, so we don't we don't make the board, ship it out to somebody else, have them finish it, ship it back. This is actually done right in our facilities. We have four facilities that do Color Plus, okay, and um, across the country, and uh, and I'm screwing up. No, you're doing fine. All right, now so you got so you got four locations that do that, and can you get this custom, or is it just the 28 colors? Uh, in in the HC10 zone, the southern zone, it's the 28 colors. Okay. There is not a custom availability yet. Okay, but that's something that may come someday. Come down the line. What are the advantages to being <coughs> premium finished? Obviously, the look. Yeah, so uh, there's there's a few advantages. One is warranty. 
Okay. So this is actually warrantied for 15 years, labor and materials. For the finish? For the finish. Okay. Yeah. The other, the other advantage is a cost advantage because of the, the high price of paint, okay. especially in the coast. So the price of this versus if you take a prime board right. and you pay a painter $2 a square foot to paint this, right. this is going to cost more money than this. Right. Plus, you know, when, the, when your siding guys are up there putting this up, you already got your scaffolding up, you already got your ladder jacks, everything's up and happening, just let them do it as they go. That's right. Now, when a siding contractor comes out and does that, does he caulk and do those kinds of things with, 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 the, with the color uh, plus? He does. So, uh, essentially, uh, every color has a color match caulk. Okay. All right. Um, so, every color has a color match caulk. And a touch-up kit. And then touch-up kits. Uh, okay. One kit for doing edges. So, that'd be a raw edge. Coast okay. the edge. This other kit is for uh, nail heads. So if you have nail heads that you have to oh, touch wow. up here or there, right. that's what this is for. Wow. And minor touch-ups on the board. Minor touch-ups on the board. Yeah. We're going to take just a second to come back to, to a timeout to find out from some of those folks that put this program on each and every week. When we come back, Kenton and I are going to jump back into a little bit more about the installation. And he's going to show you some of the coolest clips that make this a job that if you know what you're doing, do it yourself, won't become do it to yourself. We are live from Mid-South Lumber and we're talking James Hardy siding. Hang on y'all, we'll be right back. You know, James Hardy says there's a beautiful way to beat the elements and we believe that because we fight them every day down here on the Gulf Coast. And my buddy Kenton's joining me from James Hardy Siding. He is the siding installation specialist and a dear friend of mine. And one of the things we talked about a little bit earlier, Kenton, was about how the product has a complete system. You know, whether we were talking about hardy plank and, and cedar mill or, or a rough sawn or beaded or whether we're talking about a, you know, hardy panel with a stucco look or all the board and fat and things, all the different kinds of things you have. I don't know how many you have, but you got a bunch of them. But not only that, you have systems in these products and you were just going to kind of go with, through with me what each of these are and how we do that, whether it's a, a butt joint or a miter. Or, you know, tell me what we do with these things. All right. So uh, this, this is one of our newer products here. Um, this came out about six years ago, five okay. years ago. And this is Artisan, what we call Artisan. Okay. So it's a full five-eighths of an inch thick. Wow. All right. Um, beveled on the back side so it lays properly. Okay. But the other thing that's really interesting here is the butt joints are actually wow. tongue and groove. Uh, tongue and groove. So this is the siding panel that, 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 that we'd run. And, and then is, is that line built in for your for your overhang and for your nailing pattern or yeah that that line right there uh -huh. that line right there what that what that is let's look at that is that says put the nail here this is where you want to be one inch down so that's the, so the that's this is your nailing guide right yeah. here that's awesome exactly absolutely so that way there it puts the right amount of pressure on the board to keep it nice and keeps tight keeps it down tight and against the wall yeah you know all right. Now, talk to me about some accessories and, and, and what's going on. I know you built a corner for me, and yeah. you know, let's so, talk about that. So, with Artisan, we also have big old two by four looking yeah. trim pieces. Two by four trim, that, guys. Wow. Yeah. So, with that, you know, that gives you that very nice substantial. Reveal. Absolutely. Um, the other thing you can do is you can actually, with Artisan, you can do a mitered outside corner, kind of give you that Look old school. Look at that school. old school. That Look old how cool that looks. Absolutely. So, next step over would be trim. Okay. So, um, we got prime trim. Okay. All right, nice smooth edges. Um, and then we've got Color Plus pre-finished trim. That has a cover on it that already. It goes with all the, all the siding, all that. So, some of the new things here. Yeah, tell me about all these little metal things sticking out everywhere. All right, these are trim tabs. Okay. So, what this does is trim tabs help eliminate nails on the face. Okay. So once you attach wow. the tabs on the back, put it up to the wall, and you actually attach to the wall with your siding. Right. And you put the clip wherever you need to to make sure that you're hitting the stud or what, wherever you're yep. whatever so you're at. So every 16 inches here just uh -huh. goes right into OSB. Right. So every 16 inches on the tab spacing. On the so this is what an outside corner looks like to right here. Yep. Yep. So this would be an outside corner. And uh, out, outside corner tabs are spaced every 20 inches. Okay. I've got them a little closer here just for the right. small display, but uh, basically 16 to 20 inches is where you want to space these. Okay. Get that up on the house. 
attach, okay. that's it. So you're going ahead and building the corner prior to doing anything to it, getting it the way you want it, putting it up, attaching it to the house, and it's good to go and it's got a little strength to it. That's one of the things we always have to be worried about when we're talking about building a house here on the Gulf Coast. We've got to make sure that we've got strength to it, but that's not only true here, that's true anywhere in the country. Making it easier, putting the products together that make it go better. That's what we're talking about today. Now, you're going to talk a little bit more with me about what's next, installation? Installation. All right, let's yep. talk about that. So, uh, basically a few things here in the, uh, all throughout the country is what we want to do is we want to try to make sure, you know, we get uh, touch as many people as we can okay. on proper installation. So, one thing that's available is the best practice book. All right, so this is available electronic format online. It has everything in it that you need to know about installation. It, it is the, the go-to guide it when is. you're engineered for climate, well, as we say with James Hardy siding. Yep, so best practices manual. Um, don't work on your house without it. So uh, basically in installation, a few things that we really want to pay attention to. One is making sure that you have horizontals flashed. Absolutely. It doesn't matter if it's over a door, over a window, if it's a band board, it should always have flashing on it. Now, is this flashing something that, that the installers are doing or is that a James Hardy product? No, this, this is uh, completely done by the installers. Okay. When they install it, they'll actually get a two, a two foot wide roll of metal. Sure. And they'll bend it. Put it on a break and bend it and that way you've got, yeah. and, and folks down here, I can't tell you how with any installation how important this is. This is a huge, huge matter. Yep. So um, what we like to do, quarter inch space. Okay. So what that does is uh, if you ever have any water come down this wall, that quarter inch space gives, gives an area for that water to flow out so you're not locking it on the house. We talked about this during the last week, Kent, and you and I have talked about this a lot. One of the things I began to understand as a contractor and, 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 and as I've been learned the hard way is when we understand that we don't stop water, we manage water. That's right. And so when the system is designed to manage water, that system is going to be successful for you. That's what Kenton and James Hardy's talking about. Keep on going. All right, so uh, essentially here, a uh, few things that really to point out. The other is block penetrations. So anytime you have an inch and a half or larger diameter hole, I like to see it always on a block penetration. Okay. That way there, when the siding comes cut to the side, it can be caulked in, you know, all the way around. Sure versus just drilling a hole, mounting it on the face. Right. Ultimately what happens, uh, dryer vents are the big culprit. A dryer vent will end up right in between two laps. Yes. Right here. Mm -hmm. uh, when the guy goes to put the dryer vent in, put a lot of silicone caulk in there, screw it to the face, and about 30 days later, who it's knows no what good. happens, Absolutely. Right? So uh, mount it on a block, you know, uh, cut, uh, cut the siding around it, flash it properly, caulk it properly, seals everything up. Right. Talk well. to me about, of course, the importance of wrap. Oh, house wrap is very important. So um, This is y'all's product. Yeah, so we started building, uh, we started making house wrap a few years back, uh, and it's, it's a non-woven house wrap. Okay. So um, with that, what that does is that, that makes that wrap more consistent. So when you start talking perm ratings, breathability, all that, you've got consistency across the wrap. Right. Now, uh, we also have engineer for climate house wrap. So the house wrap in the north has a 25 perm, house wrap in the south is a 15 perm. See there, hey, there he goes again. He's talking about making it better for those folks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not better for those folks in the north. It's just dealing with the climate conditions that they have and the climate conditions we have. They're both severe, but they're just severe in different ways. The product sure. does it. That's a good thing. And uh, outside of that, the other thing you want to look at is uh, proper nailing, right? So Every time, important. especially in the Gulf where you got the high wind loads. So for a plank, um, one inch down, hit studs every time, gets that plank nice and tight. That way there you don't have to worry about the breeze blowing it off. Just helping the product do what it's designed for by following the specifics of the product. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Now on shingle, so this is another product that we have, mm -hmm. a straight edge shingle. A couple things with that that we look for is number one, spacing from end of panel to end of panel. Okay. We want to be 16 inches or 24 inches. Okay. All right. Next thing is is the location of the nails, right? So there's little little divots right here 
So this, this is the nail line going across okay. here. So this is where you put the nails. A lot of guys put nails up here. Right. All right, so when they put the nails up here, that panel just flops in the breeze. So that's where you want to hit your nails. And what happens here is this nail goes through this lower piece into the wall. Gotcha. Now, in the golf, you want this to hit studs. Absolutely. All right, once you get a little further off the golf, wind loads are a little less, you can attach this directly to the sheathing. Okay. Five nails across the panel. Okay. So, James Hardy Products, y'all. We spent some time talking with you today. I want to thank my buddy Kenton for showing you those things. We're talking about 30-year warranties, rot resistant, fire resistant, weather resistant, a complete system that helps the product to perform the way that it's supposed to with color and durability that makes your house looks like it should. You can find all those products here at Mid-South Lumber, and their team of professionals will be glad to help you from the ground up when you build that new home. I want to thank them for having me today, and we look forward to having Kenton back on the program talking more James Hardy siding. Hang on, y'all. We'll be back with more.